all, it was a terrible fight. You never seen nothing like this. A fire killed nine people, eight of them children, almost seven years ago. And tonight, a federal judge has decided the man convicting of setting that fire will get a new trial. Good evening, everyone. I'm Leon Bibb. And I'm Lee Jordan. Convicted arsonist Anton Lewis won a new trial today after the judge decided the witnesses who testified were simply unreliable. News Channel 5's Shay Harris joins us now. And Shay, the judge isn't saying Lewis is innocent. That's right, uh, Lee. As a matter of fact, he's only saying that this case was marked by unresolved questions. In fact, he says a new trial will give both sides an opportunity to better develop the facts of their case. Wake up early in the morning, this is the first thing I see. Go to bed at night, this is the first thing I look at, you know. 85 year old Adela Gary says she'll never forget the night she almost lost her life. The night when nine people, including eight children, lost their lives next door in a fire. Gary was in bed asleep when she heard her neighbor screaming, so she ran to her window. They were calling her name. Her name is Medea. They said, Medea, Medea. Well, as I was looking at the fire, and one of their glass broke out. To my glass, my wonder what I was looking out of. And I started running. Gary and her neighbors were shocked to learn 28 year old Anton Lewis, the man convicted of setting the fire, will get a new trial. Federal Judge Solomon Oliver ruled the conviction was based on unreliable witness testimony. Just to think that we were losing almost everything we had. Mrs. Adela's home looks new now. On her walls hang pictures of family members dating back to the early 1900s. The pictures survived the fire, and thankfully, so did she. But to this day, Mrs. Adela still questions what could have driven someone to commit such an act. I wondered, you know, what could have happened that somebody would do a thing like that. But I thought of so many things, I don't know what to tell you. It was a hurting thing, that's all I could say. Well, now, as you can see, neighbors continue bringing bears to this house seven years later, their way of saying that they will never forget that fateful night. Meanwhile, the U.S. Attorney's Office says they will appeal the judge's decision. In Cleveland, Shea Harris, News Channel 9. And Shea Lewis has been informed about today's developments? Yes, he has. In fact, Lewis has said from the very beginning that he was innocent. He says he knew this family and he would never hurt a child. All right, Shay, thank you. So